It's no secret farmers have a law on their plate. To continually grow more and do so efficiently requires innovation and a heart for forward thinking. One Iowa soybean grower leading the way in farming for the future is Jason Russell. Recognized as a Conservation Legacy Award winner by the American Soybean Association, the Monticello area farmer's efforts on his crop and livestock operation keep the future front of mind. More after this. You know, everything starts with the land. We really respect farmers. There's nothing that we cannot help a client with. So the brokerage, the management, the appraisal, and the investment are four pillars that really go so well together. We work with a lot of really great people working incredibly hard to provide for their families, their community, and the country. The American Soybean Association recognizes four farmers across the country each year who are leading the way in stewardship and efforts to advance soil health, water quality, and grow more sustainable soybeans. For Jason Russell, conservation on his farm aligns with his desire to constantly do better. It started out when we started raising hogs in confinement. We've got the manure as a very natural, valuable resource for crop production and just trying to make it so I don't need to use any other fertilizer. And I've been using cover crops as a tool to help store nutrients and prevent erosion and keep the water quality good and not have any runoff or hopefully keep our drinking water free of nitrate and things of that nature. After beginning cover crops in 2011, Russell says this practice has been a vital component of his farm to not only improve yields, but improve soil health while keeping nutrients in place. After a decade of learning and adapting, his cover crop process is more efficient and yields more benefits. Just seeing that, how, how much it changed the soil and how well the soil reacted to that kind of stuff, I just thought it'd be fun to not harvest the cover crop and see what happens and then seeing the nutrient benefits of doing that and the soil health benefits. And the hardest thing for me with cover crops was figuring out how to plant correctly and not need to do any sort of tillage. We do strip till occasionally if the conditions just aren't suitable to no-till corn on the corn. That can be something you want to be careful with. But in general, just took a lot of fiddling around in the shop, getting things dialed in, and now I can plan in about any condition and feel comfortable with my planter the way it's set up. Jason says his best advice for other farmers is to pick a practice and dive in. He recommends a smaller acreage for a new practice or a test plot to see what could work on your farm, but understanding that yield results will happen best with full commitment. Jason views the Conservation Legacy Award as a catalyst for additional conservation practices for his farming operation. It's pretty encouraging. It's helping me feel like I should probably be doing more than what I am already. And just the positive reinforcement that people think what we're doing is at least interesting, hopefully it's right. I'm glad that commodity prices are a little better. It just makes these type of things a little easier to fool around with on a test plot here, there, or a strip, and then you don't feel so guilty if it doesn't work well. That's how we learn. It's definitely encouraging, to say the least. Mm -hmm. 